So, my hair is really frizzy right now, kinda hoping you can't tell. I dyed it yesterday, and I try not to heat style my hair until I can Olaplex, which should be within the next day or two, but it's just, it's just gonna look like this. There's still some excess dye just hanging on for dear life, and it's also like frizzy as can be, so you know, that's... That's distracting, but try not to let it bother you. Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. My name's Maggie, and the only thing I like more than makeup is uh, some unboxing. So I re-upped my Ipsy bag. I get the standard glam bag that's $12 a month, and they're supposed to be uh, four samples and one full-size item. And I don't know, as far as subscription boxes go, I feel like Ipsy is a great way to dip your toe in because like I said, it's $12 a month, for a lot of people that may be easier than say a $25 to $40 a month subscription. And sometimes you can get some really good stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I picked up. There was some Instagram ad that just reeled me in. I'm so susceptible. For someone who works in marketing and also studied it, like you think I could just be like, oh yeah, they're trying to lure me in with those techniques, not falling for that, but no. So uh, this theme, this is from the July box, so I'm a little late, but <laughs> that's okay. This theme is Stay Golden. This month, everything you touch is turning to gold. What a terrible superpower. Dust on your favorite highlight, pat on a shimmer shadow, and let the world see you shine. So here's the thing. I, I love gold, like, makeup. This is kind of speaking to me. So I'm going to read from the card because it does come with a product description and then I'll just show you all the stuff that I got. Swatches, all that. It'll be fun. Also, if you like these kind of videos, feel free to subscribe if you would like to see Ipsy unboxings in the future or I guess unbaggings. <laughs> Leave a comment, let me know because my August box should be here eventually and I also did an add-on talk about the add-ons in a bit. Let's unbox first. Something I was very excited to see is the Tarte C Quench Hydrating Primer. This is a mini and it's very cute. I tend to like mini primers because I'm not somebody who uses primers a lot or on an everyday basis. They're more of an occasional thing for me. A mini size is kind of perfect. Whether you're going for a full beat or natural look, this lightweight and super effective primer will make sure your hard work doesn't fade. It'll help your foundation last longer and keep your skin hydrated for up to 12 hours with hyaluronic acid and marine plant extracts. Sounds lovely. I especially, I know that this is supposed to be a summer theme, but I could see this being very, very helpful in the winter. And something, like, as I was looking through my little mini primers, I don't really have one that's solely based on hydration. The closest, I would say, is maybe Max Strobe Cream. But that is more of an illuminating primer than a hydrating one. So this is nice. I'm glad I have this. The next one, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this threw me for a loop. See if you can guess why. Kaleido Cosmetics Lip Mask Gel. I thought it was from Kaleidos Makeup. No, Kaleido Cosmetics. This is the packaging. I gotta say, offhand, pretty chic. Never heard of this brand before. Not uncommon in subscription boxes to just get teeny brands you're not familiar with. So this is a blend of watermelon seed oil, shea butter, and rosehip oil. In this mask are moisturizing superheroes for your dry, chapped lips. Slather it on before bed for lips that feel soft, smooth, and conditioning come morning. So I'm a pretty big fan of hydrating lip masks. I have two right now. I have the Laneige, and then I have the Hanalee Balm, which is my favorite, bar none, but I do like the Laneige for day to day. So I could see this being fairly useful. I may actually either toss this in my purse or keep this with me at work because I don't think I have a lip mask gel with me in the office and that can always be pretty useful. Okay, up next, I was kind of excited to see this. We have a product from Hip Dot. This is their blush in the shade Solstice. So let me show you this. Isn't this cute? I was really, really excited to see this. I think it's kind of an interesting take on like a peachy, yellowy, golden kind of uh, blush. Let me show you what the description says. Soft, blendable, buildable, and made without potentially harmful ingredients like, para like parabens or phthalates. Okay. <laughs> This versatile blush checks all the right boxes. The universally flattering soft peach shade instantly perks up your complexion too. I don't care if you put parabens or 
jet fuel oil in this because that kind of marketing doesn't mean a whole lot to me but I do think this is a lovely color and this also fits the stay golden theme. I'm happy to have this and that it's a smaller size because who goes for <laughs> who goes through blush these days? I don't. People who don't buy makeup excessively probably go through blush easier than I do. This next one is from Nomad Cosmetics. It's a single shadow from the Cartagena Magica collection or the palette, I should say. I've been eyeing Nomad for a little bit, but I just, I've never found a palette that makes me wanna pull the trigger, but now I can try out their eyeshadow. And this, okay, I'm ashamed to admit how excited I was when I opened this and saw this. So this is a shimmery gold. <laughs> Not for nothing, I have a variation of a gold shimmer on my lids right now from a dupe of the Natasha Denona Gold Palette, the Alter Ego Goddess Palette, if you're curious. So give me a shimmery gold and I will be the happiest camper. Oh, and it looks so like flaky and textured. Dang, that's awesome. This bag just read me. It said, hey, we, we know you like things that are gold and sparkly, so here you go, kid, have fun. I was excited to see that, I love. Now I have like a little gold eyeshadow and a compact. That's marvelous, thank you. Oh, should I read the description? <laughs> Inspired by the glowing light in the city of Cartagena, a few swipes of this golden shadow will instantly light up your eye area. The pigments are finely milled and infused with rosehip oil for a buttery feel and high impact color payoff. Okay, so fun fact, Cartagena in Colombia, I want to visit so badly. Not just that city, but like the entire country in particular. I actually put together, I think, an 11 day itinerary of what I would like to see while I'm there. So if y'all want to go to Colombia with me, you know, <laughs> you know where to find me. Let's plan a trip when it's safe to travel internationally again. That'd be so much fun. Okay, next on the list is the Real Her Moisturizing Lipstick in Girl Power. I don't like when girl power is used as a whatever. Here is the packaging. Tray Chic. And then I believe this is my full size product. That or the Nomad eyeshadow. No, I think it was a Nomad eyeshadow because this was kind of tiny. If your dream lipstick feels just like a balm, then this silky nourishing formula is deaf for you. It uses jojoba seed oil and shea butter to nix chapping and dryness on contact, plus time-released water droplets provide moisture throughout the day. Interesting. The perfect recipe for all-day hydration. So let's take a look at this shade. Oh, it's pretty! Look at that! That is the kind of movie nude that I could get behind very easily. I may have written this off too soon. What I will probably do with this is um, also keep this at the office in case I need to touch up my lipstick throughout the day because I like wearing this kind of shade to the office and if it's not an intense shade like a red or a plummy shade, I don't really take that lipstick with me to touch up throughout the day. So this will be perfect to have on hand. It's so little, it's so cute. Okay, I'm glad I have that. Uh, so that is it. That's everything I got with my Ipsy bag for the month of July. I think the theme was pretty on brand. I'm really impressed with how they kind of stuck with the hydrated, golden, summery kind of feel. I think that was really well done. While I was kind of uh, browsing through the add-ons on the Ipsy site, because I know a lot of people just sign on as an Ipsy member for the add-ons and the sales specifically. I know BoxyCharm is pretty similar too. I saw that there was a Color Club duo for $5.00. So added that to my cart because I recently went through my nail polish collection and started getting rid of polishes that were old and like beyond repair. So I have to make a trip to the hazmat center very soon. But yeah, I figured like they're very fun, cute colors. Uh, I thought they would pair well together too. So I'm excited. I love Color Club. I think they're a great formula. And it was $5 for two polishes lucked out there. Yeah, I should, I'm kind of excited. Uh, one of the things that I like about Ipsy is that you can pick your first product. So the one that I picked for my August bag was a liquid shadow from The Balm. I love liquid shadow. And I think it's also a goldeny shade too, or a rose gold. 
how on brand for me. But I'm excited and then once I see if this is something that I would enjoy, I may just do this quarterly just so I'm not having an influx of new products every single month. That might be a bit overwhelming especially because this isn't the only way that I bring in products into my collection. So I'm thinking of just doing this maybe quarterly, maybe every other month and you can kind of mess with that in your account and time it so that it fits how you like to acquire products. So that's gonna be it from me, folks. Uh, if you also got your Ipsy July bag, let me know what you got, because the samples vary from bag to bag. It's not the same for each person, but let me know what you got in the comments down below, or let me know if you'd like to see unbaggings going forward, and I can keep those in mind for future videos. So thank you all for watching, I so appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.